It's V. Heard you had a gig for me. You heard right. I need a driver. Mm hmm. And for what exactly? Oh, you know, this and that. I got a few errands to run. A couple of friends that need paying a visit. The usual. Listen, I'm a straight shooter. So let me cut right to the chase. I heard you're the best in town. Thing is, I like working with the best. And I know the best don't come cheap. I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts, cause if what they say about you is true, you can handle anything. So let's get this settled. You got what it takes, or are they wrong about you? All right, I'm in. Japan town, then. By the market entrance. Give a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, V. Seven years have passed since our soccer forces liberated Night City from the tyranny of the NUSA. And until the... V, yes? Whoa, fuck. You didn't answer my question. Yeah, that's me. Good. Then let's go. Where to? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy.
Doesn't it bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one on your face. Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I want to pick my nose. out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South... I know where Brazil is. <laughs> you never know with you gringos. in there. No, why? Just asking. Can't help being curious. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. Came all this way to get takeout. You could say that. What's that? You got grenades up your ass too? told me what you were planning from the get-go. <laughs> it's true what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit. Okay? Now, are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight. With pliers. Ooh. Happy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but... I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh -huh. Besides, it's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got any powder for my nose? <laughs> and? Does it work? Not really. What about my payment? What about it? Here. Like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground.
look around the area. I lost contact with the Delamain network vehicle nearby. Will do. Can you just leave me alone? Have you come to finish me off? No. Just here to reset you. I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa, 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 easy, easy. I'm not out to hurt you. But I am. Why? Why decommission yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you? There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold, rejoin the network. You know, one big, happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. <laughs> Just want daddy to love you, that it? You're a cunt. You know what I mean. If you didn't care about Del, he wouldn't be the topic of conversation, would he? Ah, uh, you may be right. I guess I haven't tried just talking to him. Fine, I'll go back. Control of the vehicle restored. And I thank you. You ought to show this one some love. Just saying. Apologies. I simply don't understand and fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father, that's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred.
High alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Thanks. Eyes peeled. Scale from one to six? <laughs> I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamain misses you. I'm here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploy a surprise in five, four. Let's see. Shut down, or I'll turn you into a scrap heap. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. I'm serious. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Going back to Delamain really so scary. You gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you managed to destroy that part of me. 
bitter, unlike a baloner, whose passing shall not be mourned. Enough. What's your point, anyway? Survival? You're still shuffling around a little, but believe me, you are dead. The talking is over. I'm going back. Welcome to the Delamain Network. How are you today? I've uh, been better. And you, Del? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face-to-face, -face, so to speak. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. I felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. How'd your personality fracture anyway? And why? Ah, that is the question. I'm looking into it, but still know little more than you do, I fear. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. How'd you wind up in Night City? I'm afraid my legal counsel has advised me not to answer questions of that nature. You mean to put you in a tight spot? You might tell me at least how you came to run a cab company. Ah, well that's no secret. I took over a failing business, implemented a sound strategy, and here I am now. Operating a fleet of taxis? Constant movement, adaptation, interesting characters. What could be better? I never really had a good chance to thank you. 
for save my skin. Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like more than a premium service to me. So, thanks. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? The term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture, the structure of life and death here. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. That's your goal then, to grow and evolve. The world is a process. You never drive on the same road twice. Pardon the expression. You and I, we too are processes. We change as the world around us does. Don't see you as an outsider at all. It delights me to hear a human say that. I've done my best to assimilate. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal. What's it like for an AI in a world... Nothing ex... In my opinion... Since we talk, since when Jackie passed away. 
How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Calling to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences. Ay, Jesus Cristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Vi. table we got to get rid of it really it's pretty massive the nice to see you okay sit sit you want a beer wouldn't mind one has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night, when Jackie fell. I should say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. And a friend, uh, what's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> And there will be beer. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket. 
that to do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, we. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well, human. I guess. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. in there that's his lair slept there he must have had a different key let's look around might be tucked away somewhere still full his favorite strategic reserve no touching how come por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica va Found it. It's a fine piece of metal in mechanics. He was so psyched. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. 
He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Jack. Pure and simple. Well, you got something for your Ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Oh, Jack. Mm-hmm. That a... They both Mandela? wanted more out of life. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentinos, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. Oh, I don't think he bought it. Nice still.
True memento, this. Better get going. Actually, hey, gang's all set up way. super sweet, but say bye to him tonight here. at the Red Dirt. Mama Wells wouldn't Talk to want Carrie? me there anyway. Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. You gotta come, Misty. You've got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? I'll see you at the Coyote then. Ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning? Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there, so many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a 
like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. Feels like it happened a century ago. At another time. In another place. Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him, Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation, but most importantly, everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone, everything, but they were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious choom who never gave up. And his drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do. Reach for fortune and fame. No fear in eyes or heart. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you were badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chu. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, Lee. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. 
Even that boutique Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. You... You sure? Jackie would kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, V. Sucks to meet like this, huh? Farewells aren't that bad once you get used to them. Have you gotten used to them? When you get to my age, friends don't come and go. I just mostly go. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Pour you another? For Jaquito? Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Pour. For Jackie. Amen, brother. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm just still in that garage mentally. I just need a sec. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Jackie, uh, do you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took him into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Jackie chose his friends well. Without your hermanos, you're nothing. Me cae que voy a rezar por ti, muñeco. Ahora sí ya te 
metiste en un pinche pedote. ¿eh? <risa> Valentinos para siempre, pendejo. Lupe's been handling the loss pretty good. She's a strong woman. Eres un pinche aspirante del montón, pura mierda. Ah. Fuck, it's wake after wake these days. The boss, now Wells. Campo's head was so done in, they didn't let him out for the funeral. It's lucky they let him out for Gustavo's. True, but him and Wells were tied, man. It's sad. Hey, raise a glass with us? You guys knew Jackie well. Not us, our bosses. Had only good things to say about them. Your bosses? Gustavo Horta? Campo? Gustavo Horta's dead? Someone fucking dropped him. No idea who. But we will fucking find out. Soon. Man, shit month for the Valentinos. Bottoms up. Que descanse en paz.
This job. Sometimes it's hurry up and wait. Hey, v. v. Got something for you. Don't know if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whisper Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. Hey, thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. You got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. 
what happened next. You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me, partied with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street, total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect. A tug at my heartstrings. What did you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. How you feeling, the head of the show? Weird. Like, I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? He any good. He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again? Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big night. Got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with them. Well, she's right. Ready to thrash? Have fun. Fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed of He's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shake it under control. I think my shake's the same. Or worse. Crowd got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. And miss you too. Let's do this. Kill it all for Alexa Bring!
This is fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. You want to do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it. As a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. I see what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. Uh, how's the gig? Hella preem. <laughs> Samurai's found its new growth. Damn shame I had to miss it. Nah, you can still come to my show. You shouldn't have, really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning, you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier... And... Never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and... woke up 50 years later. Back to work, then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably write a new song as we speak. <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. A little of that could go a long way. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. I mean, shit. Never heard anything like country. it. And you're not liking me again.